Well, it's July 2024. We're up uh, at Goldworthy, just met up with Nigel, and we're off on our Thames adventure off to Let's Lead to Launch. Beautiful morning. Let's hope it lasts like this for the week. It would be super. Right, we've safely arrived and uh, we're just about to launch. It still stayed dry, so that's very good. We've met up with Dan here, he's given us a hand to get ready. And now it'll be time to go and get a sandwich. This is Dan in charge of doing the balancing act. And that's Quetzal launched, as easy as that. Right, Nigel's just coming back with Holcian. Just a little slip here, so that will be okay. Alright, Halcyon just being launched. All looking good. Now you've been polishing again. I don't know if that's Nigel glugging or whether it's the trailer. Is that you glugging or is that the trailer? <laughs> There she goes. Well, we're all launched and uh, just having a bite to eat. I'm watching the giant swans here along from Half Penny Bridge. I don't think they'll have any signets. Well it's Sunday morning, absolutely beautiful morning. We're back in Letchlade, just uh, topping up the feeder tank for the boiler. Dan's got the fire lit. And Nigel's uh, got his power lit as well. So hopefully very soon we'll be on the way. Our Thames adventure starts. Lake Marina, Nigel's in front. We're going up to the navigable head of the Thames and then we'll start to work our way down through towards Henley. Right, we're at the head of the navigable part of the Thames now, by this wooden footbridge.
right, the next lot coming up, Nigel's already in there, and we've got lock keepers on duty. Shifford lock looming up now. Nigel's there waiting for us. He's making better time than us today because uh, we've had weed on our propeller. rather a long day, it took longer than we anticipated. We're on the water for about 11 hours I think. But we got uh, another couple of miles to do and then uh, we'll moor up for the night. A couple of miles. Safe walking all the way around. I don't know.
Monday morning we're back at Ancient Lock just uh, tidying the ash out of the fire and uh, putting some water in and we'll be on our way again and uh, we're hoping to get to Abingdon today Had a good run down to King's Lock a little bit of rain in the air, we've had to put some wet gear on unfortunately These animals lurking in the undergrowth here. It's not breathing fire, so I suppose it'll be okay. Right, Godstow Lock is the next one. We must be into lunchtime because it's self-service and uh, Dan and Nigel have gone off to do the necessary. Uh, we're just uh, approaching the low bridge now. I think it's going to be fairly tight going under this one. We'll have to take it very carefully. alongside this lot but we're not stopping because we've got a, a wet storm warning coming in 
in about an hour and a half's time. So we want to try and get to Abingdon before it breaks. some water here. Nigel's just gone in alongside and on the right hand side there on the approach to the rear uh, for an overnight mooring and we've managed to get down here before the worst of the rain too so that's rather good. Just coming to have a look at where the uh, mooring officer wants rather a pleasant spot. Got our own picnic table and chairs here as well and plenty of room for both boats here, so uh, that'll be fine. Well, we've just tied up and down comes the heavy rain, I said forecast, so almost perfect timing. We uh, are very close to the weir here, but we're quite well tied up, so I don't think there'll be a problem. Just putting the boats to bed and then uh, we'll go out and get something to eat. Hang on a minute. This is Rosamond, the assistant lock keeper, and he says we're all fine here, and you'll see us in the morning. Right, it's Tuesday morning. We've delivered a car to Goring Lock. So we've got transport there, Dan's been here busy and uh, got steam up, sorted everything out. Nigel's just put in another bag of coal and uh, we'll soon be away. Clifton lot now. All the flowers here. Very keen gardener, obviously. And two boats right in to come up.
Right, we're being joined by an electric launch now. It looks like he's going down to the Henley Festival as well. Empress Electra. I think we passed that one yesterday on the Moran. With the roar of electricity, it's gone. Bye. Built in 1901 Bye -bye. and originally electric. Bye -bye. Right, well, that's it. We've um, arrived at Goring Lock, just waiting to pass through the lock, and we're hoping to use the visitors' more ends just below the lock. So that's our day's run over. So, uh, very good run it was, too. And the rain wasn't so bad as the forecast promised us. Well, we're back in Goring. We got friends John and Sylvia with us this morning, and uh, they're going to accompany us on the leg to Henley. There we go. Right, Dan's been busy this morning. He's got everything ready for us to go. Just oiling up the engine. The fire's all lit, and we'll soon be away. Henley, here we come. Luckily, it's not salt water, so uh, not a problem. No, it's okay. The electric launch that we met up yesterday, we just pulled in there alongside the longboat, or the narrow boat. Looks like Jen's on his own today.
Right, we're at Shiflet Lock and uh, we're well on our way. It's an absolute super day for that, so soon be at Henley. Just in the St George and the Dragon, having an evening meal. Absolutely fantastic evening, and let's hope it's like this tomorrow. Right, we've picked up our uh, pontoon that we're going to display at the Tradar. Dan's just uh, putting the boat to bed. Another good day. And we're at the end of our voyage and we shall enjoy the festival for a few days. 